How can we make learning analytics work for organisational needs? According to the Society of Learning Analytics Research, learning analytics is the measurement, collection, analysis and reporting of data about learners and their contexts for the purposes of understanding and optimising learning and the environments in which it occurs. In other words, analytics involves using data to improve the student experience. Here you can see four main questions you need to answer to make learning analytics work for you. Firstly, what is your specific objective? You might be wanting to improve student retention or engagement. You might also want to have more students achieve their qualification. Or you might want to improve course and activity design. It's important you focus on one or two of these things rather than try to achieve all of them at once. Secondly, when do you want to intervene? It could be before, during or after a course. Third, what data do you already collect? You may already have everything you need to make an effective learning analytics system work. And finally, how effective are the support services you already have? You may already have effective support services and just need to provide them with additional data to help them perform their roles better. Of these four questions, the second is one of the more important. And here I'd like to tell you about a National Centre for Tertiary Teaching Excellence uh, project in New Zealand otherwise known as Ako Aotearoa, a model called the Rhythms of Teaching Analytics model. Here you can see the three different parts of this particular model. Before the course starts, you'll be interested in preparing and planning it effectively for your students. Here you might want to use admissions data, cohort size, course content or demographics to determine more about how you can use analytics to improve the student experience. During the course, you'll be focusing on teaching and assessing. And here, things like interim grades, learning thresholds, participation rates, resource use and student feedback can be helpful for you to improve the student experience. After the course, you'll be looking at review and evaluation data, like attendance, engagement, pass rates and also any student-generated content that has been prepared during the course. If a course is completely online, you'll have many more options for using analytics because you'll have much richer data. Every university collects data about its students. Even the data already collected can be very, very useful. It depends on what you want to achieve. So start with an objective, see what sort of data you already have, and work on translating that data toward the objective. It's not just about collecting data. It's about using that data to improve the student experience. Mm -hmm.